you will be ready for it. Um, I'm Michelle, I'm from Employment Career Development. I could come here and list a whole heap of stuff that we do and make you remember it and explain it in detail to students, but I think we've got a lot of other things that you've probably got to remember. So there's two things I really probably want you to come try and retain today, and then the rest, you know, I'll give you is like nice extra detail, and it's just really two probably main things, but I'll get to them in a sec. First thing I want to ask is, I suppose that you'd probably be dealing with mainly, in theory, first year students, because they're usually the ones with the, first year, with the most questions coming into a new environment, to a university, and all kinds of crazy things that happen to you when you first start studying at this level. Um, so can I get you all to think back, if you can, to first year? You know, exactly. If you are first, if you're first year, think about it. Just think about it. <laughs> you know, back those few minutes ago where you were, you know, slightly more sporty faced and you came in, you know, all shy and nervous and uncertain, you know, what was going to happen. I want you to think about the types of questions you had at that time. And I'd like you to raise your hand if at that point you were thinking about what the hell am I going to do with my degree? To be honest, it doesn't have to also you that's a question that you actually have at the moment. Some people don't have that question, they're like, I don't care, I'm pretty easy to think about it. Some people genuinely have that question, so that's interesting for me to know. Um, who was thinking about, am I going to be employed, and am I ready, like, will this get me an actual job when I complete? Do I have all the skills to do that? Okay, so a few of you are actually thinking about that. Cool. Okay, what if, what, usually most of the crowds I see are kind of like, no. <laughs> I'm not thinking about that at all. <laughs> I'm here for the parties. <laughs> Um, and how many of you were looking for work at that particular point in time? Looking for part-time jobs? Oh, just a couple of you. A couple of you probably already had some. A couple of you probably um, don't need employment at this particular time. So those are, from what I can gather, maybe not the last one, but the rest of them were probably the main questions. Most people were kind of sitting there going, oh my god, what do I do? Does anybody else have anything that they can add to the mix for employment around that time that you're thinking about? Or that you're currently thinking about? Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Cool. So back to that, like, am I employable and how can I, like, what, what should I be thinking about at this time? Thanks for that. So that's another one that's clearly relevant and important. Anyone else got anything that they can think of that's like, yeah, cool. How can you find a part-time job that is about understanding about the fact that you haven't studied for it? It's tricky. So yeah, so how can I find part-time work that actually is going to give me the flexibility I need to uh, do the study, to keep up with the type of study that's required? And usually that's that crucial job, isn't it? So yeah, they're usually around part-time jobs at the moment. How can I get one? How can I figure out? what I'm going to do in terms of flexibility. The other one is how am I going to have the skills, the knowledge and everything that I need to get a job at the end? And what type of job am I actually going to do with this crazy degree? Like, you know, do I eventually become exactly what my degree title is? Is there a job that says geology? Is that there just one option or do I have to do many other things? So these are the main questions I've noticed personally, I think you've noticed, that people have at this point. So these are the ones that you really need the answers to. The rest, great, you can send them to us, we can help you. Okay, so first things first, we offer all these wonderful services, I'll put that up for sake, but for part-time employment we have this wonderful thing called Career Gateway on our website, okay? Has anyone been to Career Gateway? Okay, so about a third, you've had a look, have you seen any jobs that appeal to you? A couple of nods, a couple of maybes, okay, so what we have is a service where a lot of employees come to us, say we want students, can we please post jobs on your website? And we say, yeah, no worries, we check them out, we try and do our best to like, see if they're legit, because sometimes you'd be amazed at some of the things that they get sent. So you know, we're looking for students, $300 an hour, evening work, um, you know, we're <laughs> like, hmm, um, yeah, no, that's probably not appropriate for our students. So we try our best to kind of filter these out for you, okay? So this is a great place for people to go to, because these people who are advertising here know that they're going to get a student and they're going to have to work around a student to some degree. So these are, this is a great spot to direct the students to. So remember, Career Gateway. So check out our website, Career Gateway. For those things around, you know, what can I possibly do with my degree, we've got a 
section on our website called, I think it's Use Your Degree, and it has these amazing flyers that we put together each year. We do all, go through all the surveys on graduates and check out what they're up to, and we find out the top jobs that people with your degree go into when they finish, and we list all of them. We also list the highest, um, the, the recruiters that take on the most modern students with those degrees, and the most popular recruiters, we list them too, and the different associations that can help you, and the types of industries people are happy. So how many people have seen those? You need to look at them, they're great. We put in all this effort, and unfortunately they haven't been showcased well enough, so we're trying to set up a whole section on our website to it. So that's another thing to remember. So remember Career Gateway for the part-time jobs, the flyers on our website to figure out what you want to do with your degree. Once they've checked them out, then they can come and chat with us. But try and get them to check out those flyers straight after their visit. I'll show them to you in a sec. So the third one was building those skills to figure out if I've got what I need to get that job. Am I going? Is this going to be enough? And you know what? Often, if you start looking at some of these graduate jobs that you're looking at, they usually say, oh, we're looking for someone with experience in this area. Is there any experience? What experience? This experience? That? A graduate with experience? You're like, are you serious? <laughs> graduate experience, think about this, like really. But you know, there are a lot of people out there who want that, and a lot of people out there who are getting that. So if you're getting to the end of your degree, and you don't have any relevant experience, if you haven't done any kind of projects or anything that you can showcase the kinds of skills that they're looking for, if you have nothing but your degree, and the fact that you walked up and you've got these months to talk about in the interview, you're severely limiting yourself compared to the other types of people going through these jobs. So you need to start thinking about what we love to call, it usually doesn't mean much to most people, but it's employed for these skills. So these types of skills, you know, read these job ads where they talk you know, into the job ad and the company talks about themselves for about half the next thing you just kind of like skim past it, you're like, alright, you know, and you get to the bottom it says, our ideal candidate will have, and you will be able to, and then they list a whole heap of things that they think is really important for you to have. You need to be able to have those things and prove to them in an interview and if you haven't figured out how you're going to do that yet, you're going to graduate and you'll find it really hard to get a job. We are the people who can help you figure out how you plan together to get those skills, whether it be through volunteering, whether it be through you know, um, extracurricular projects, whether it be through in your course, but just designing the things you're doing so you can later talk about them in that way, okay? So these, so I'm going to recap. So where are you going to go if you've got Somebody come up to you and go, oh, I need a part-time job. What should I do? Uh-huh. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. So if I come up to you and go, oh, my God, I really like this degree. I think it's kind of cool. I have no, no idea what the hell I'm going to do with it. Like, seriously. What does a major in mathematics possibly get you worried? Like a teacher and then nothing. Like, really. Yeah, that's like, Is there anything else? Sorry, all the maths graduates, but that's usually a question I get. Um, what are you going to say to them? Yeah, use your degree flies on the website. I'll quickly check the answer. And the last thing is if I come up to you and go, oh, God, oh, I'm going to start looking for jobs soon. I haven't really thought about, you know, what I'm going to do. I don't think I have to care. As long as I've got my degree, like, that's enough, right? What are you going to say to them? And how are you going to do that? Exactly, check out the skills they're looking for and then come see us, just visit. You don't have to go into too much detail with them about that. Send them to us, we can do, we do drop-in sessions, they can come plan, all of that stuff, okay? So they're the absolute must remember. Now I'm going to go through all the extra little stuff that you don't have to remember, just so that you're aware. But, sorry, I really shouldn't say it like that, should um, But those are the absolute critical things. So, there we go, it's probably pre development. We're wonderful people who do all these cool things. Um, we can help you find work, exploring opportunities, um, setting goals and decision making, so that's kind of like coming in with those skills that you want to develop, we can help you with the decision making and the planning, um, applying for work. Um, you could tell students about, you know, it's free, come in, you know, does anybody know how much it costs for a careers counselling appointment in anyway? It's like over 100 bucks, sometimes 200. You get it for free while you're here, so like, if you really need help, this is the time to get it, and you can use that service for a while. Um, what else do we do? Um, we've got cool handouts in our office you can come check out. We've got examples of like resumes and stuff like that you can come check out. If you've got a resume that you want checked, I highly recommend you do that. If you just you've never done that before, come see us. We have a drop in every morning between 10 and 12. That's for your interest. You don't need to know off the top of your head, but just tell them to come see us and we can help them with the reading that. Okay? 
type of year, if anyone here hasn't come for that, 10 to 12 every day, pop in before 12, before 12 and we can check over your stuff for you. Um, interview practice workshops we do as well. And this is our super cool website that you can come and visit with all that information. So pretty easy, go to the home page, click on current students, click on jobs. That's our website. Okay? So any major questions, concerns, <coughs> or if you feel like